Hello parents and welcome to Titusville High School Open House. I am Mr. Ian Schwana, the band director here at Titusville High School, and of course your students are in my class. Many of us have already had a chance to meet through the things that happened before school, through marching band camp or the parent demonstration, or we'll have a chance to meet shortly at the football game tomorrow night or whatever it may be. So please feel free to come up and introduce yourself to me anytime. Now, I wish I could tell you that I'll always remember your name and your student's name and yeah, I, I, I will forget some stuff, but please feel free to come up and talk to me anytime. Remind me, tell me who your student is. I'd love to get to know each one of you. Uh, throughout the year, we will try to do our best to stay in constant contact with you so that you always know what's going on. Being the father of four boys myself, I love having the information ahead of time, and I really don't like having to deal with things last minute and try to scramble my life around. So I will always do my best to communicate directly with you as well as your students, as long as I have your email address. Each week on Sunday, we send out a weekly email that goes out to everybody on our email list. And that will have information for not only that week coming up, but it also will have the information for uh, future uh, dates coming up in the next of the month. And there's always a link to our BAM website. And our BAM website actually has a Google Calendar that has the dates for everything happening all the way through next August. So we try to give you as much information as we can far, far ahead of time. Now, as far as the class itself, students are graded on weekly assignments that will be in Google Classroom. And in that Google Classroom, the students will either record themselves playing and upload it, or they'll find a YouTube video link of a professional playing their instrument and paste it in there and upload it. We'll try to make it as painless as possible so that students can do it easily and quickly. The most important thing is that they do it quickly because it is one of those things that if they turn it, on turn it in on time, they automatically have a 50%. And then every question they get right past that just keeps moving them up all the way to 100%. And a lot of times we have extra credit questions so they can even get up to 120%. So we want to make sure they do that. The most important thing is that they stay on top of it and get it turned in on time. Now, if they turn it in late, they lose those 50 points from being on time. So please make sure that they, well, you don't make sure, but please encourage your students to make sure that they get their assignments turned in on time. But again, that will be in the weekly email every week that there's assignments in Google Classroom. The reminders will always happen. Uh, at the beginning of the school year this year, there was some issues with trying to make sure that everybody had the right focus class. But at this point, everything should be set. So every student that's in zero block is on my roster, even though the orchestra kids are with Ms. Zahn and the band kids are with me. Every student in second block, music and or instrumental music, is on Ms. Zahn's roster, even though they have me as their teacher and they still get their assignments that same way. Every student in fourth block is on Ms. Zahn's roster, but I'll still be teaching it and they'll still get their assignments through Google Classroom the same way. Every student in first block and third block is on my roster. That sounds way more complicated than it really is. The reality is your student uh, will be just fine. They're already set where they're going. They're going the right thing. They're going the right places. They're doing the right things. The focus things will show up for them. They're all in Google Classroom. We've checked to make sure that every single student is there. So they're in great shape. But I just wanted you to see, if you see a name that you're like, well, why is the kid in, with the orchestra teacher? It doesn't mean that they're an orchestra. It just means that that's what we have to do for to set it up correctly through the school board to make sure that every student gets credit. A lot of explanation about something that's really not that big a deal, but I just wanted you to be aware of it. All right, other than that, hopefully you've all seen the syllabus at this point, you've seen the handbook. So feel free to reach out to me with any questions. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, just like all of you, we all stay really, really busy doing many things. And just like all of you, we probably get lots and lots of emails every day. Uh, one time I counted it up, I get around 400 to 500 emails each day. Uh, and that's not all school related. Some of that is other things that I do outside of school for the Florida Bama Association, things like that. I'm telling you that because if I don't respond to your email, please email me again. And do not feel like you're gonna be rude. You can email me every day and I will never be offended. I will just be thankful of, oh, thank goodness that person emailed me again because I probably saw it and forgot about it or it got pushed under other emails. So never feel bad about reaching out to me. If you are not an email person and you are a texting person, you can text 
you can reply to any of the weekly texts and I'll get those. If you are not an email person, you're not a text person, you're a call person, good luck. It's hard to get a hold of me through the phone, the way the phone systems are set up here at our school. I really recommend text or email and do it often. But if necessary, um, and you leave a voicemail, I will try to figure out how to get in there and get that voicemail out and how to get back to you. But it definitely is easiest if you can text or uh, email. Definitely the best way to get a hold of me. We're really, really excited to have your students in school this year. I know it's gonna be a great year. Already the students are cranking and they sound so good on so many of the things that they're doing. It really is exciting. I can't wait to get to show, for them to get to show off everything they've worked on to you at the football games, at our concerts, at all those things that are coming up. So it's gonna be a great year and uh, I hope to get to see you all soon. Thank you.